OSC, or Open Sound Control, is the most powerful feature in VRChat. Try not to get too hung up on the name. It was originally used for communicating between sound systems, but now it's a way to communicate between a mirror dwelling simulator and some other software. Think of it like two pipes, or ports for data to flow, one in and one out face tracking, haptics vests, computer brain interfaces, and even those annoying, now playing, chat boxes would be impossible without it. I'm going to show you some cool community programs that use OSC and roughly explain how they work along the way. None of this software is officially endorsed by VRChat. It's all made by third parties. There's a risk when downloading software off the internet, so please verify the safety of any OSC app you choose to use. This is VRC OSC. Yeah, I can't defend the creativity in the naming, but it's one of my favorites. This is a general purpose app with a bunch of features right out of the box. Get the current time, your hardware stats, or even your heart rate with the right sensor. Just install the program, select the modules you want to enable, press start, and you should see everything in the OSC debug menu. If you don't, make sure OSC is enabled in your VRChat settings. Wait, I still have a question. Does this work on Quest? OSC actually does work on the Quest version of VRChat. However, most community-made apps run on PC, and then sometimes can be configured to send this data over the same network, at least in theory. In practice, I ran into several issues that prevented VRC OSC and other apps from working completely with Quest standalone. There's a few that do work mentioned later. After setup, it's up to you how to handle this data. Now, the simplest thing you can do is spam it to your chat box. I get the novelty of sharing your music, your high frame rate, or long play time. Just please reconsider if you need to show this at all times. This feature is already blacklisted at some clubs and events. You should know a little bit about VRChat avatars, including avatar parameters. You've probably already seen them controlled through in-game menus. Many of these modules work with your avatar parameters. So instead, I encourage you to do something creative, like have your avatar's tail wag faster when your heart rate increases. Now that would be adorable. Sometimes there's prefabs to get you started. There's some examples on the VRC OSC GitHub page, but you might be able to find some more in the wild too. Not everything is just about giving information to VR chat. There's also the reverse. You could mute your Discord mic from your avatar menu. Just one example of sending that data back. I'm not huge on turning VR chat into a controller for other apps, but there are some uses for sending data out mentioned later. You can even create your own modules that run within VRC OSC, but this requires some programming knowledge, so we'll talk about that later. Finally, multiple OSC programs can conflict when accessing the same inputs and outputs. VRC OSC is capable of routing multiple programs data together through the same ports, so they don't have to fight over who gets attention from Daddy VRCat. In fact, you might already have an OSC program installed. OVR Toolkit and Access Overlay act as OSC programs. They set avatar parameters for your battery levels and how many windows you have open in the overlay. DX Overlay is an avatar prefab that takes advantage of the window functionality and shows a representation of this on your avatar. These simple tricks are really cool, but you can take things even further with VRCFT. This is what most people use for face tracking. Look, you know if you need this app or not, but I just want to point out what a miracle it is. Every hardware manufacturer has their own face tracking data and software. VRCFT essentially converts that data into parameters for avatars. VRChat does have some native support for eye gaze and blinking, but this is the only way to wink or move your mouth. I'd like to see VRChat flesh this feature out more in the future, but for now, this is an amazing standard by the community. OSC also fills in for the lack of haptics functionality. Instead, there's a feature on avatars called contacts. These are essentially specialized hitboxes that change an avatar parameter. This is a good example of taking data out of VRChat and triggering something in the real world. The Haptics has their own OSC software for their suits, and Haptic Pancakes allows you to add vibration to Vive trackers. I also got Haptics working with Axis by Refract Technologies, the sponsor of this video. Axis is a full body tracking system with interchangeable nodes. They're aiming to make real-time low-latency motion capture more accessible, now with SteamVR and OpenVR support. These trackers also have haptics built in, which I really wanted to get working with VRChat. Thanks to the Unity Axis SDK, I was able to create an OSC app to do so very quickly. Shout out to the YouTuber BonelessVR for the bounty on this, which I learned about after filming my initial review. The team at Refract is working on improvements based on review feedback, including hip estimation when using only four nodes. You can get access light for a pre-order discount of $318, or take $50 off Axis Standard with the code TAVO50. These deals last until the end of May. Axis Standard and Pro are available now, and all size kits come with a matching charging dock and straps included.
Speaking of full body tracking, instead of having trackers set in SteamVR, VRChat can accept full body tracking data through OSC. Some notable examples I've covered are SlimeVR and Viso FBT. SlimeVR is also one of the very few OSC apps that can run on your Quest headset, enabling standalone play. There's also an unofficial OSC implementation of Axis on PC, though it's more of a proof of concept right now. Even the game input system itself can be driven by OSC. I don't think most players will need other controllers to move around VR chat, but it is huge for accessibility, voice control, or perhaps some sort of automated movement, provided you stay within TOS, I guess. There's really no limit to what you can connect to this game. Some people have even rigged brainwave sensing headbands to control their avatars. Right now, you can only do so much but combined with machine learning, I was impressed to see how far they are pushing these devices. There are also numerous apps for Twitch integration. Stuff like allowing your audience to take over your avatar, firing off animations for follows, and throwing objects at your character. Really anything to get chat's attention and get the donations flowing. Now, I can't cover every app people have made to work with VRChat, but I encourage you to think outside the box here. Maybe you'll find something that you want to make yourself. A common way to get started is Touch OSC. This allows you to build your own interface for sending data. It's super useful for testing. And if you want to read everything that's being sent in and out, the app protocol can be used to monitor this. The real fun comes from coding out your own ideas. Now, before you run away, hear me out for a second. VRChat does not recommend this as a beginner project, and they're not wrong. Having that basic programming knowledge will go a long way before jumping in. However, experimenting with a goal in mind is a very powerful way to learn something. What I can do is give you an overview of how I would get started on a project like this. Step one, figure out what device you want to use with VRChat. Find a way to control or read it with code. Step two, yoink an open source OSC library to communicate with VRChat. Once you have those two sides working independently, you can start linking them together with logic and figuring out what data you need to send back and forth. I know I'm basically telling you to code the rest of the owl, but this should at least break up the project a bit and put you in the right direction. Or you could make a VRC OSC module. Here, the UI is already written, it allows you to save user settings, and you won't have to add an additional program to your Steam VR startup. That's half the reason I eventually implemented my Axis Haptics program to VRC OSC. Shout out to Butterscotch for decoupling the SDK from Unity and making this possible. Developing a module can be very powerful. However, you are relying on someone else's code, so there is a risk of something breaking. There is an early version 2 in development right now, after all. This program also doesn't work on Linux. I really like the idea of a standard OSC application that other developers can add onto, but I can also understand starting from scratch, especially if you're selling a product that works with OSC. I know this is leaving a lot open-ended, so do your own research and seek out relevant communities if you need help. I hope this video has given you some ideas on how you can use OSC, and we see some unique avatars in VRChat.